Cause they just follow Caught up in a jam Show what them hollows about You never had bands Go get your dollars up Go get your Talk to him, DBJ. Talk to him. Enough's enough. They're killing us. It's time to knuckle up. Fuck us up. It's time to ride now. Nigga, fuck, fuck them up. up. Kings killing kings. Nah, nigga. It's time to switch it up. up. Time to take a stand. Show them niggas how we give it up. All I'm saying is, boys, Lord, your name will always lift it up. Time to start fucking these crackers up like they do. Niggas, us. Move them up. And they wonder why we keep that rule. Move it up. It's war. Fuck the ops. It's the cops that be killing us. It's sad to say you pass away and everybody love you. A week go by, two weeks go by. Everybody love you. What? Showing love can fuck you up. My nigga, I learned my lesson. Uh huh. Young and black and gifted nigga always got the blessings. Always threw my hands first. Never needed no weapons. What? Since I added lessons, got the message. Life can end in seconds. This ain't GTA, you got it, baby. Gang, get it, set it. Mama's crying, wasn't ready. What? Now, I hope you know why. Cab took a knee because a cop took a knee. It was a casualty. And he wonder why we always screaming, fuck the police. Is that us? Us in the streets, goddamn. Why can't we breathe? Why y'all killing us to sell CDs? Why we can't go to the store in Copper Area? Why we can't go in peace? Why we can't grab ID? Why we can't get a traffic ticket? Why y'all killing clean? Wow. I'm traumatized, like what it done to me? Yeah. We doing bad shit, not funny shit, it's sad. Who do without that uniform? Badge, nigga, fuck. Fuck the Rona, we ain't kill this virus shit. Nigga, uh -huh. still killing us, nigga. We still killing us. Shit is crazy. crazy. Another mother lost another baby. Crazy. It's like I gotta kill a nigga daily. Yeah. R.I.P. to Mon Arthur, your name will always live on. R.I.P. to Mike Brown. R.I.P. to Trayvon. R.I.P. to Sean Bell. R.I.P. to Sandra Bland. R.I.P. to all black lives. It's time to take a stand. God damn. Damn. That boy preaching. Ooh. Make sure y'all listening to that too. Make sure y'all listening, man. Y'all not, not catching it, bro. My son really talking to y'all. Uh, that, like was, that. that was that was that was definitely our, our song, our song, our intro today, bro. That shit go crazy, man. Shout out my brother, DBJ, King DBJ on IG, man. As you can hear, my boy talking a message, bro. So definitely go show him some love, man. Yo, DBJ, that shit was fire, bro. Now we getting into it. Look, man, if there was any way to start a podcast in a, That's in, the in, fucking in, way, in, in a time like this, my son really went on there and talked his shit, DBJ bro. DBJ really did that thing. Shout it's out my, to my first fucking, time ever listening yo. to that song, so I hope you guys got my raw effect. You know, I got my little bop going on, like. I feel you, brother. Put that shit on the speaker, man. That boy Ooh. was talking to him, man. Shout out DBJ, man, my brother, for real. That was nice. So now, look, man, let's get into it, man. What's going on? We at the spot. I yeah, know what time it is, you man. Here with um, your boys. It's your boy, King with the Eight God, and I'm here with the number one host in the world. Tibby D, you already knew that shit, man. We on the way up. Check out. And um, this is episode two of the spot podcast. Shit going up. It's good, yo. Everybody yeah. go, you know what I'm saying? If y'all y'all seen the first one, man, appreciate y'all for showing love, man. Sure. We just we taking this up. Everything is up. It's going shout good. Out, shout out to everybody who tuned into the first podcast, which actually dropped not too long ago. Yeah. Oh, uh, we haven't even got the chance to get a full look at it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Cause but but you see why we here and we still getting to it. We get into this money. Everything y'all want to see, we got it, man. Shout out to our sponsors of the day. As you can see, I got I got my little nutcracker, summertime vibes and all that. It's hot Ooh, outside, so go was, get your nutcracker. That was nice. Shout out uh Nutcracks 845, my man, shout out to Nike, uh, Bull Bush, go cop up, man, have you a good summer, enjoy yourself, get a little bency while you at it, you know what I mean? Yo, Nutties is really the wave. That was a little crazy, yo. I don't think, I don't I'm think saying? people know what Nutties really do for the culture. You don't always got to drink the Hennessy straight to the chest, you know what I mean? Sometimes you can mix it in, you know what I mean, get, get a good blend, my boy, my boy, get you right, though. Get you right, good prices, man. Definitely go check them out, shout out to Nike, man, shout out you. Look, man, let's get into the second sponsor. Of the day, right? This one, this one is very interesting, very, very interesting. So, this is a business called OneBillionClub.com, right? And here's their message: It's stop using the corporation social medias okay. that hate you. What else? Ooh. I like that. I like that. Hate that's us. that's hard, right? So, this is a new social media made from a Rockland County creative. Uh -huh. You know, your boy Oral Wright EO and his peoples are putting together this social media called OneBillionClub.com. He sounds like he like now, money. Now, this social media is like, it's a few social medias in one, which makes sense, as you should. Definitely. Right? Because um, at the end of the day, there's a lot going on. So when you want to create, you want to create towards things that have to do with everything. 
or else in this day and age, you really aren't going to get it. Bring any. it all together. Definitely a combo. So I'm going to pick my nose on camera because this shit is wilding the fuck out. This nigga's crazy. But at him, huh? so this 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 social media is like it makes stories like Snapchat and Instagram, posts like Facebook, sell products from page to page, legal in state products to be precise. Um, audio comments, which is which is actually before I even see it happen live in the flesh before this page takes off and blows up, is gonna be fucking hilarious. Cause you imagine you post a picture. On your on your on your one billion club dot com on billion club whatever mm-hmm. when, whenever the, when niggas get their lingo for it <laughs> and you post a picture you think you cute you hear a comment and niggas like you ugly as fuck <laughs> motherfucker fuck you because you know niggas be hating <laughs> sorry man say sorry man niggas be hating so now niggas niggas that that'd be some funny shit and that's new because look you can't do that on Instagram you can't, avail, you can't do that on Twitter you can really only do that on iMessage and. Snapchat, to be honest, we gotta innovate, nigga. Right, and Fuck and it. and one thing that I realized, a lot of the a lot of my dumb friends don't text; they send me audio messages. So, have you ever realized that? Like that. You ever had that I one dumb that, friend who that don't that shit, text yeah. you? He will never ever text you. He will only Snapchat you an audio message. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm that nigga. Half niggas the time. can't type. Niggas do that. Yeah, I'm niggas. <laughs> I'm definitely niggas. If I don't want to type it, bro, it's too much. You know what I'm saying I don't want to get the point across. Too many big words. Nah, I'm just gonna say it, bro. There, there, there is a messenger like Facebook. You know, Facebook. Okay. We have yeah, facts, facts, facts. The Facebook app, and now all of a sudden, you cannot use Messenger on the app. You need to have Messenger. Another app. Yeah, yeah. That's why I don't this got the book. This shit blows mine. No, nah, whatever. I'm not I really only go on Facebook to buy stuff and sell stuff. That sounds Let's good. Let's just be real. Let's get sneakers on it. Right there. now, um, features once. App is in store. You can go live on this app, and there are video chats. So if you ask me, right, this is something for everybody. You can do just about everything you need to do everywhere else here. Um, the app has not launched yet, but this is something that you guys should look forward to. And when it drops, I hope the right people take advantage of an opportunity because I'm pretty sure you guys are mad that you didn't take TikTok serious a year ago. Shit. Timmy got his shit popping on TikTok. Yeah, you see. <laughs> Yo, somebody had to really tell me, bro, get on TikTok, and I, and I was late, you know what I mean? But guess what? Now they got 40,000, so come talk to me. You know what I mean? Imagine if I would've started this shit last year, you know what I'm saying? When they really told me to start it. I'd had a billion by now. You know what I mean? Look, TikTok's scary. You gotta go crazy. I like TikTok's it. some shit where you could, you can make a video, put your phone down, come back, and you're going to see yourself with 200,000 views. And you're like, wait, what? Who? 200,000 where? What? When? Right. Why? And how? You got niggas in China going crazy. You know what I'm saying? You got all the Indian mommies on you. You know what I'm saying? Apparently in China with the TikTok thing, like, China doesn't have Instagram. Yeah, yeah, China yeah. China doesn't yeah, have yeah, yeah. But they let uh, TikTok Twitter, rock, yeah. But TikTok, that lets you do with your thing. But this is something that I found out about TikTok, man. I'm not really too... I'm not really... To find a TikTok right now, cause oh. like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 Okay, I have myself a week on Twitter, uh-huh. right, and it, it 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 humbled me and taught me a lot at the same time, right. This is something that I know about Twitter. Motherfuckers on Twitter are brilliant. <laughs> no, I'm not only gonna say that. Motherfuckers on Twitter are not only brilliant, but they're also really stupid. It's bold. Twitter's bold. I ain't gonna lie. And, and, I'm new, and, I'm new to Twitter. and, and the bold, alternative right. to it all is they're bold as they're hell. bold as hell, bro. Right. And what I mean by that is like, for example, somebody with an influence on Twitter. Um, Say you tweet something on Twitter, whatever it is, and it's nothing but a fact. Right? And it, it, it it's nothing but a fact. Right, people will try their hardest to cancel you <laughs> due to what you said, right? And yeah. and when I mentioned earlier, I said it humbled me. It, it What that taught me was like, what's supposed to be said never wants to be heard, right? Don't nobody want to hear 
Don't nobody wanna, don't no pothead wanna hear smoking weed kind of slows you down in the brain. Yeah, yeah. And this is facts, and right? Shit, what That's needs to be bad. said never wants to be heard, right? So, Somebody famous said that? I said that. I like nobody that. never yeah, said yeah. that before. Yeah, I ain't never heard that from nobody. When I tell you, Twitter je- this week alone genuinely humbled me. It it it, it taught me something. Like that. I'm like the For real, I, I'm gonna have to tweet that something. That was smooth. Like, that was last smooth. Last right? yeah, yeah. So boom, bro. I'm gonna say it again. What needs to be said never mm-hmm. wants to be heard, <laughs> right? So here I and what I mean by that is like this. Here I am all week tweeting about what's going on, which we're gonna get into a little later. Tweeting about everything going on, and people are trying to people that have no no reason to speak are trying their hardest to make me look like some dumb ass kid on Twitter who just talks and wants attention. But the things that I'm talking about, right, and this specific time, which we're gonna get to later, and I can't fucking wait to go off for that, <laughs> right? And this specific time needs attention, right? So instead of coming at me with authenticity, telling me they disagree, right? I mean, a little small. I know I'm a little slow, but I was supposed to be like that. Ah. Right? So with the, authentic, with the authenticity, instead of people coming at me and telling me how they really feel, you know what I mean, by saying they disagree, but they know what's gonna happen to them if they disagree with me in this time of day. They rather say it's clout chasing or attention seeking, right? But the definition of Twitter fingers is like you really think you got it on this Twitter shit Mm -hmm. until uh, until somebody really pull up on you and humble your ass with facts because that's why I said people on Twitter are also brilliant because be careful what you say on that shit because you gonna say something on there thinking you got it down packed thinking you got it all figured out and somebody gonna come up there with a nice little quote tweet and they go humble your ass. That's a fact. That's a fact. They gonna humble you, your shit, it's gonna go viral. The last thing you wanna do is be a nigga that thought he had it all figured out and a nigga get 100K likes humbling your ass. Yeah, Tell me not. The only likes on the internet, man. The shit, Very different. The shit is, is, is beyond me. You <laughs> know what I mean? So Tibby, how do you feel about the Twitter finger dudes? And 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 and, and I mean, and, I mean and yeah, me. honestly, honestly, as we and know, bro, as, as we know, bro, everybody, everybody now who, who they perceive to be, I'm mm-hmm. saying the same people with the Twitter fingers is the same people who give a perception of, see, I'm saying the internet. I mean, there's, right. there's, there's gangsters on the internet, you know, I'm in person, bro. The same dude got robbed, go to the store for niggas, like everything could look good. You know what I mean, you see girls on the internet all the time, baddies, vixens, and this ain't going to nobody. You know what I'm saying baddies, vixens, being in music videos. Take the snaps in the Rolls Royce. Mm-hmm. Whole time they homeless. Like, like, yo, bro, it's a lot, bro. Don't believe everything you see on the <laughs> internet, my niggas. That's a perception, bro. The baddest bitches be the homeless ones, bro. So don't, don't believe, and bro. Twitter fingers they talk. You know what I'm saying it's the same. It's the same activity, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you said that because I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a vixens. Being a vixen is a part of being one of them. It's, it's you. you you're in that general topic of Twitter fingers, right? Yeah, yeah, Because at the end of the day, something. somebody with Twitter fingers it's ain't just really not. like yeah, that. It's, it's just who you're not. You know what I mean? That's what Twitter fingers is at the end of the day. It's who you're not. Like, because yeah. you're, you're giving a perception of something. And sometimes it's like, okay, I get the fame comes before the funds. You know what I mean? It, it happens, you know what I mean? But you got to understand those, those girls, these so fellas, just because she got 100K don't mean she's not going to ask you for $40. You know what I mean? Like, simple <laughs> shit like that. Like, you got to understand... Don't take everything you see on the internet as truth. You know what I'm saying? People talk crazy on Twitter, talk this, that, and the third. You see them, they shaking in their boots. You know what I mean? Shaking. Keep it, keep it real simple. You know what I mean, real simple. Just always remember that, bro. Just, the internet make everybody look better. Make niggas look bigger. You know what I'm saying? Bigger, better, bigger, tougher. Better. And now, this is this is another thing I do right, with the Twitter fingers, right? The, the guy that's all wrong, but everything he said was in caps. <laughs> <laughs> everything he said was everything he said was in caps because the way Twitter is now designed, if everything is in caps, motherfuckers is going yeah, look, yeah, look, look at what you said. It's like screaming on the internet, nah, that, 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 screaming yeah, on your, yeah, yeah, yeah. Screaming on your Instagram story. Yeah, that's but everything you said was wrong, and now you're gonna have nothing but comments attacking you. But now listen, it's Twitter fingers, mm. right? You can say everything right in caps. Yeah. 
but them Twitter fingers is going to do everything that they can to make you out to be wrong. And that's going to bring me into this, right? You can say something on Twitter that 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 um didn't want to be heard because it was supposed to be said, right? And people will do everything in their power to try to to even if they have to make shit up. They will do everything in their power to try to make you out to just be a dumbass who doesn't agree with them. Wrong or right? That's a fact, though. That is def- that's definitely a fact. At the end of the day, Twitter is dead, yes. something I know about Twitter is like, not even Twitter, life. life. But we're talking about Twitter fingers right now. People would rather be the funny guy than to be right. And who opened up my mind on that is Drake with that interview with Rap Radio. Right now, like, like Playboy Cardi is going to drop his album. Mm-hmm. His album is going to be fire to most and comic to the rest. I mean, just, the people are going to think this shit is just hilarious, trash, whatever. And to some, even if they like it or not, within, because like Jay-Z said, you cannot give your opinion on an album with, on the first listen, within the first couple of days. No, you got to soak that shit in. You gotta, you gotta be able to understand exactly the substance, exactly what's going on in this project, right? So, before anybody even gives themselves a chance to really pay attention to what's going on on the project or whatever is going on, people on Twitter are gonna try to be the funny guy for retweets, even if they're that's dead they got, wrong. They got, that's why they got those. There's a lot of like, what do you, what do you call those pages that like? The troll know, pages. Yeah, you like, know like niggas pages. be yeah. wildin'. I know Twitter knows that yeah. page. Niggas yeah, be wild. Funny. Funny. They're yeah. fucking hilarious. It's funny. And they That's make what they me go to laugh. Say edgy shit. That's what they go say edgy shit. Yeah. Like you can't do that as your personal page. You got to make a fake account. You know what I'm saying? Just to really speak your mind and say that edgy shit. But that's really how it is. Cause, yo, Twitter, if you should go crazy, they going to sit. They're going to they gonna eat you up on it. They're going to eat you up on it. But niggas, we don't know who that nigga is. We don't know who he is from holding the wall. He could that ass be a, a little kid. He could be a 40-year-old white man with the name of niggas is wilding. For me, you don't know what you got going on. But to speak your mind like that, bro. God, be hidden. And that's what them niggas do. The niggas that talk the craziest is the niggas that's hidden. You know what I mean? And, 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 like, honestly, fuck you, Twitter niggas. <laughs> fuck you, Twitter finger niggas, man. Do what you gotta do. Better, do better, man. Just get do your better. likes. Get your retweets. Do, do better, man. Be you at the end of the day, bro. Be you. Everybody not gangster, bro. And you could be a nice, you could be a great guy, but there's nothing wrong with being a great guy, bro. Just be a great guy, bro. Nothing wrong with it. Don't go on the internet and try to be a funny guy and all that, bro. If you're not like that in person, bro, don't, don't be like that. And at the end of the day, like, Twitter is all about the aesthetic that you're about. You know what I mean? Like, there mm-hmm. are there are Black Lives Matter pages that only tweet things that go on in the black community. There are relationship pages. There are Zodiac pages. Look, man, if your page is about niggas be wildin' and all you're going to do is wild out on Twitter, be my motherfucking guest. Do what you got to do. Get out how you live. But just understand that, like, if your aesthetic is all about the wrong things and making everything right look wrong, go fuck yourself. That's it. Um, is this, this is for this could be for the ladies. This could be for ladies, for the fellas. You know what I'm saying it's real general. We gonna we gonna give y'all free game. You know what I'm saying and this is dating in 2020. You know what I mean we gonna break it down for y'all because obviously Ooh. some of y'all don't know what's going on, the fellas, ladies. We're going to try to help y'all out, you know what I'm saying? Especially in a time like this, you know, they ain't nobody really exist now, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But we're going to give you a couple pointers. Me, King Mill. King Mill's more fond of girls than I am, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to... Bro, come on, we, you know you're going to... We're going to break it down for you, you know what I mean? We're going to break it down for you. So what you want to get into when we talk about dating? Um, I mean, look, being that you get all the girls... Ah, oh, this nigga's crazy. Right? Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, do you, what do you think about dating in 2020? I'm going to keep it real funky with you. Love is is a is a dead language. Like like in this day and age, love is a very very elaborate dead, on it's that. It's a dead now language. I'm really like, interested, like, and if I'm interested, to hear to hit, like I feel like when you were a kid, like like when you was younger, you would always hear this love shit. And it really was something you looked forward to, bro. It really was True. something that you was, you know what I'm saying, thinking about. You thought could really have it for you. you know what I'm saying facts. But now, if you say something like a nigga in love, you know what I'm saying, or you feel like me shit. Yeah, you a dweeb, you, you know what I'm if, saying? If you post your girl. You, you, yeah, nigga. It's to the point where, you know what I'm saying, you can't even show your significant other or you hide in, taking pictures of their feet. Like, it's a lot of shit going on, bro. That It's weird because it's so dead now. Now it's like, okay, you don't even want to, you know what I'm saying? You don't even want people to know. So that's why I say love is a dead language, but 
honestly keep be honest with you, bro. Dating twenty dating in twenty twenty is something that it gotta be relived, bro. The hype, you know what I'm saying? I think social media is a big part of it. Very big. Social media, I'm gonna get into all, that. All, 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 all the shit, yeah, all the shit right there. Like that's like plays the biggest role. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Nobody wanna be everybody wanna be seen as, for the fellas. I'm gonna speak for the fellas, ladies. For the fellas, they wanna be seen like they getting girls and, and doing all that. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all ladies. Listen, you listening? You hear me? Listening. <laughs> A lot of niggas is not out here getting girls. Like Cap. I'm, not, I'm not even gonna call you. You know what I'm saying? A lot Capping. of niggas don't get girls. Like a lot of niggas. Like the perception again. Y'all make they make it look real good. But I'm telling you, he's not getting. But you think he's the man? He he. I don't care what he talk like. But he look, yo, a lot of niggas don't get. But I'm not saying. You know what I'm saying this. This killer. This, this, it's demons out there. Trust me. Demon time. It's demons out there for real. I'm. You know what I'm saying. But. It's not every nigga. Y'all gotta calm down. You know what I'm saying? And y'all gotta stop swearing. Y'all know what a nigga is thinking. That that is the worst oh type of female. That's the worst type of female to me personally. Like oh with dating, you know what I'm saying? When I try to get with a girl, bro, <laughs> the worst type of girl is a girl that swears she got the game figured out. Cause what am my mother? I'm Ed. You don't know what's going on in my being. <laughs> you don't know what's going on in my head, bro. You could swear you haven't figured out. I will hit you with the endless curveball in the world, bro. Cause you just don't know. Like I would never say I know a girl. I don't care how many girls I dealt with, how many girls I've been with, I don't know Yo, what a girl's thinking, bro. For what? Hey, that is such facts. What? Because, like, because, like. What are we talking about, bro? At, in this day and age, you don't really know anybody. Because, like, we were talking about earlier, life advances every day. Every day. 24 hours, every day. people don't realize it's so long. So much could happen in 24 hours. Like, these celebrities who do so much in a day tell you. Mm-hmm. We got the same 24. Now. You could waste your 24 hours and it'll go by like that, or you could live that 24 hours. Now, so much can happen in 24 hours. A girl could think something today Swear. and tomorrow be a complete different female. Like, I've watched girls yeah. go from, yeah. from, from, from Britney Spears to literally emo. Yeah. The next day. Rap. Nails everybody, black. Everybody, you don't yeah, know what the fuck's time, going on. Bro. This is a nigga, a, 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 a fella could go from. Being in love mm-hmm. one day, literally being in love, finding seeing some girl at a concert that he met, and now everything that the person he's in love with does is a problem, is an issue because now he got his eyes on this. Yeah, you know what I mean? Your mind, it's, yeah, yeah, your mind could change, bro. Your, your mind could really change, bro, just like that. So a grown woman told me this, and I was like, All right, this is what it helped me a lot. She said, Every human being has the right to change their mind. You could think you love somebody Gangsta. as long as you need to. You could think you you in love with the person you with right now, and you want to go and meet somebody else right. that really just brings that different side of you. you know what I'm saying it just. I think time and place is really a big thing with dating, bro. Exactly, and, and like you, and like you said earlier, right? Like social media plays a big part. Yeah, you could be in love. You could have a wife, a kid, and think you got life figured out. Go on social media and find the love of your life ten times a day. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fact. Down to what you see, though, you know mm-hmm. what I mean. It, 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 somebody it might not be the same like feeling. It might not be the, the same love feeling. Of your life it's lust, yeah, it's it, lust, it, yeah. yeah. Lust is. Very, we all catch ourselves in that, bro. We all catch ourselves with yeah, lust. That's that's casual. that's nothing. That's dating so hard because niggas, you gotta really separate yourself. You know what I'm saying? In that, in that, you know what I'm saying? In that, in that situation, you know what I mean? Lust is something that guys can't get through. They can't settle for. You know. And like I said, dating is a real commitment. I feel like if you go on date with somebody, you know what I'm saying, you gotta really be like ready to give up your half to them. Your half. You know what I mean? It's I'm, no I'm more. A, I'm, a just, I'm gonna be dead honest with you. Like, when you I get married. You got more experience than me, so you got it for me. <laughs> you gotta show the ropes. Like, tell them. Look, my, my experience with relationships isn't really great. So, like, uh-huh. that's, that brings us into dating in our 20s, mm-hmm. right? We young. We young, we so young, like, bro. We young. So like, you know what I mean, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. It's like, it's like the guy. I'm the definition of the guy who, who got the best advice and don't even don't really take be none of it. Don't advice, take none of right? it. Yeah. So I was like, talking about that shit yesterday, I've, man. I've, I've, I've been a sucker to a relationship. Sucker, of course, of course. Like, 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 I can't even believe I accepted the shit I used to accept. Yeah, can't yeah. even believe that shit, right? And I was young. <clears throat> I was 19, 20, 16. I'm a little I'm 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 twenty something years old, you know what I mean? Like I'm yeah. a grown now. I never see my age on the internet. That's why I said twenty something. But I'm I'm young I'm I'm still a young man. That's a fact. I'm going through the ropes of life. Facts. 
I wanna I, I haven't even got a taste of everything. But there's yet. people out there that's forty something. You know I wanna taste every, everything, everything before everything. I know what I want. I say, yo, I you say, know? yo, when you ready to get the date, like like I said, bro, we young. We he's twenty something. I'm twenty one. I don't give a fuck about my age. Mm-hmm. But you get something like that, bro. Like if you're not ready for it, you know what I'm saying? Don't do it, bro. Don't don't get it. Cause you got a lot of time to experience it, bro. If it's not what you want, it's not, you wanna be a demon, bro? Demon time. Be a demon, you hear me? Be a demon, bro. But I just you gotta keep it open, bro. Cause at the end of the day, I don't know about you. I want to have some kids. You know what I'm saying? I'm I want to have I wanna, beautiful kids. You got to go, you gotta go through these beautiful experiences. Kids. You got to go through the experiences to really figure out what you like. You know what I'm saying? Because you could have been, I'm the type of nigga, I used to only go for, I used to be real, real stingy with what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. Go for like, I go for like straight pretty, like you know what I'm saying? Say everyone goes a pretty face. You know what I'm saying? I want all my, like if I just wanted bad bitches, okay. But them shits never got equivalent to anything because what? Because, you know what I'm saying? It was so thin that I was only seeing that and it's like, Okay, I wonder why she's not lasting, you know what I'm saying? Because none of, all these girls have the same shit going on. Same but shit. But, you know what I'm saying? It's not offering, so I had to really open up, you know what I'm saying? But you got to be willing to see more, you know what I mean? You got to be willing to test your shit out, you know what I'm saying? If you go through your day and get your experience in. I'm yeah. one of the niggas that have to get experience in that. I would never lie to you. I'm very heavy on the demon shit. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm different. <laughs> it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? Everybody goes through shit like that, bro. Everybody goes Look, through shit like that, bro. If you haven't lived your demon time, you are going to have a hard time with life. Yeah. You're gonna have a hard time in a relationship. Mm-hmm. You're gonna because like, shit you haven't been through. I feel like the word "hole" and thought, like to me, I be dragging it though. Right? I be dragging to me, that name. A hole is a girl that fucks a lot and lies about it. Okay. Yeah. Like if you and don't even claim it. If you fuck, like, because there's what there's are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Ah, but you just got done getting a train ran on you. Shit. You fuck different niggas very easily with uh-huh. no remorse. But like you're acting like you don't. Mm-hmm. You're a hoe. If you're That's a girl tough. who's open by her shit, you bout your shit. You know what you want. You know what you want, and, and you get to your business, and you and you ain't got no, and you ain't got nothing to hide. Live your life. Mm-hmm. I think you're a strong human being. But like that's just tough. That's you feel me? If she got like, eighty bodies, she still may be a little. Huh? I mean, like if you got eighty yeah, bodies, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you got eighty bodies, but you keep your situation right. You keep your situation yeah, intact. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what I mean? You take care of yourself. It just only goes to show like a real woman can't be a hoe. You just a real woman. You feel okay. me? 80 bodies though. I feel you. Look, I feel you. 80 hey, bodies hey, though. Hey, I'm pretty hey, sure hey, you're hey, not going to find anyone with 80 hey, bodies hey, and some substance. I'm yo, sorry. 80 hey, bodies? Oh you, really, you really will tough. not. That's but tough. if that, you're that, out that's there, true, that's true, though. if that's you're true. out there, I'm more of the nigga who it is like, than how many it is. Like, I'm not the type of nigga. I'm not stressing for me. Like, if my girl, like, if I start talking to a girl, I'm not going to ask, like, off script, yo, mm-hmm. how many bodies you got? You know what I mean? Right. Like, because that's not something that really pertains to me. Because first off, if she got a lot of bodies, I'm a no off I'm a script. No. It's a I'm a no. It's a small Do world. my research, dude. You know what I'm it's saying? A I'm a no. World. But I'm not the type of nigga to ask for that. You know what I mean? But if it's someone like, boom, you my brother, you know what I'm saying? You my best friend, bro, and she has sex with you, oh, my God, not on duty. Not, not on, on duty. duty. Not on duty. If she has sex with my brother, someone close. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, no, I, I can't, can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Can't be with you. I can't do it. So, you so about to be around me? And I know, I know, ladies, you can say something immature, whatever you want to say. But if I'm gonna be with this nigga, and he's seen your youngs already, you know what I mean? He done dogged it. Seen, you already called him daddy. How he spit on you? Oh, <laughs> not on duty, not on duty, <laughs> not on duty. I swear to God, but nah, it's not for me, bro. I love, I love ladies, man. I, love I can feel y'all. that. I got your shit going on, man. Yeah, I can call that t- toxic masculinity. Yeah, do yeah, whatever you want to say. Run it up, run the tweet, run the that's, comments yeah, up. I don't give a ch- fuck. Children, yeah. You that, fuck my man's shorty. I can't have you. It's over. I could be, I could, t- I could touch you, could taste you, but I can't have you. And if I have you, I can't have you for long, yeah, baby. Yeah, it's a fa- so if you so had just to just know what it is. If, if you had to give one tip to the fellas and one tip to the ladies about dating in 2020, what would you say to them? I would say this, man. Live your life. This is a, this is the get it family? out of you. Okay. It's for the fellas. Okay. The Live fellas. your life. Get it out of you. Now. Mm-hmm. Touch anything. Even if you feel like you don't want to touch it because you know how mature you got to be to be with an ugly girl. <laughs> you got to be real mature. So do what you got to do and get it out of you while you can. And, and, and when it naturally feels like it's for you, run with it. And mm-hmm. ladies, niggas be lying. Niggas yeah. ain't shit. Yeah, they are. Niggas are now in this time of day masters of telling you what you need to hear. Mm-hmm. So the same rule Smell applies that. for y'all because don't don't let these niggas tell you that they're not gonna fuck you because you a hoe. 
Mm-hmm. They're going to be 10 times more with it, and they're going to do everything in their power mm-hmm. as well to change you. Mm-hmm. The vulnerability, cut it out. Make it hard for these niggas. Make it hard for me. Make it hard for Tibby. Make it hard for these niggas if you plan on giving it up to everybody. And that's my that's that's my advice. How about you, brother? All yeah, right. So if I had to say one thing, I'm, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with the ladies. I'm gonna start with the ladies. Ladies, I'm gonna say to you, bro, don't sweat. Don't try to keep. Yeah, I know all girls have insecurities, and we talk about this all the time. You know what I'm saying, I have no problem with you have insecurities. The fellas have no problems. You have insecurities. Right. Don't let it overwhelm you, because at the end of the day, I can never heal no cut that another nigga did to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna sit down. And I'm gonna say that one again. I can't heal any wound that another man has placed on you. You feel me? So I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let that. I'm gonna let that dwell with you. you know what I'm saying I'm gonna let you smell that for later. You know what I mean, mm. I could do as much. You know what I'm saying to help you out after the whole thing is done. But right. you have to be willing to do get your over best that. to show don't, the difference. Yeah, don't shed blood on me for something that somebody else did. You know what I mean, Facts. be willing. They for need my to fellas, hear that. For my fellas, bro, don't be scared to get. You know what I'm saying all these rappers, don't be scared to get that commitment, bro. And this coming from me, my nigga. This is coming from me. The if demon. You know, if you know, you know. The you demon. Know what I'm saying? Yo, don't be scared to get in that type of shit because, oh, niggas going, you know what I'm saying? You a sucker because you're in a relationship, my nigga. Yo, a lot of these dudes making the music talking about fucking bitches. And rappers will really make music saying, yo, I got all the hoes Lying. and have a stink at the crib, like, what, like in the bed, you know what I'm saying? Ready for you. You going home, you sucking toes. Don't believe all the media and shit, bro. All the media and shit, bro. They put it up there, you know what I'm saying? These niggas go home to their wives. They go home to their girlfriends. They happy, bro. So don't think you too cool for that type of shit, you know what I mean? Right. Make sure you remember that. Go smell that, you know what I'm saying? And come and back to me with your, with, your, with your feedback. And I want to give one last thing. Talk to him. One last thing. I got to practice this myself, too. I'm a little hypocritical. Ah. Hypocritical. <laughs> hypocritical. It's a little hypocritical on what I'm about to say. Mm. Right? Stop hiding your partner. Niggas don't give a fuck about you. Niggas don't give a fuck about you and what you're doing. You're not Kim Kardashian. Paparazzi's not waiting outside your crib. You're like, like, like. I hate that. Yeah, I hate that. Embrace what you got going that. on, yeah, yeah. but just know. understand. Don't post when shit is wrong and yeah. shit is not going good for y'all. Keep yeah. your business to yourself. Don't be afraid to show what you got going on. But niggas don't give a fuck about you. I want to dwell on that, bro. But I'm, I'm gonna let that sit because that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a good time. <laughs> Word, uh, and this is like a word. This is a word that we're gonna expand on, mm. but it's very relevant this type of time. Right. And the word today that we have for you is fear. Mm. You hear me? Mm. F E A to the R. Fear. With an apostrophe. You hear me? And when we speak about that, but what you, what you wanna say about fear right now? What apply it to what we're going through right now? Fear. Fear is the number one cause of failure. Ah. This is what I mean by that. I right? like that. And I'm going to use my field for this. Rappers. Rappers. I have a lot of friends who I know are musically talented, gifted, for a fact. But they're afraid to put music out due to fear. Due to you know, wanting to be accepted. Like yeah, yeah. Due to the fear of people knowing that they're not really trying Mm-hmm. They're not really in this shit for the aspect of music. Uh-huh. You know, the fear of people understanding that they're only in this shit for clout. Fear. The fear of people judging what they have to say if they come on a track with vulnerability. You know what I mean? Talking about message, talking yeah. about being molested. Talking about not being a gangster for uh-huh. fucking once. I'd be damned if a rapper come on it a fucking a song. Talk about how about nice he is and he, shit. How nice he is and how he don't pop guns <laughs> and don't get pussy and actually does get denied. Because the only time they talk about being denied is when they're in a position to not ever be denied anymore. Oh, rap about how bitches used to be in their DMs. Not rap about how they be getting deaded in, in DMs by the Mia Khalifas and shit that's not afraid mm-hmm. to expose these niggas. Mm-hmm. You know what she I mean? She exposed the niggas? She exposed all our celebrity favorites. I think I ain't even like her like that. She ain't even She not even on that. Her yeah. ass not that fat. No, it ain't not if that. Your ass fat, ain't you got me as a stand, baby. Nah, let me tell you, me. my reading list is lit, huh? Nah, she could have exposed me. I would have been tight as shit. You're not talking about. Yeah. I but let me get back to it. <laughs> right? So fear. Um, it's like it's like the rapper that goes to the studio, spends three hundred bucks on a studio session, and five hundred bucks on a video to only promote his video on his Instagram story. 
for the Shit. fear of him not getting five million views on his Instagram post because Six Nine's getting it. But he doesn't understand that Six Nine's views and all these other rappers in this industry shit, their views are fake. Their life is fake. You gangster. You wanna be you look up to somebody who's fake and you're in fear of not being them and being fake like them. And mm. that's fear. And that fear is ruining your life and it's causing you to fail at whatever you feel that you really need to do because the opinion of somebody else has you destroyed. And now the definition of fear is an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, dangerous. likely to cause pain or threat. threat. And I never, ever in my life looked up the definition of fear. And I'm pretty sure everything we just elaborated on has something to do with what we just read to the the definition through the dictionary. That's a fact. Now fear, I feel like fear is... In, in a way, it could be a motive, you know what I'm saying? And when mm-hmm. I say that, you got to listen. Like, when I say, shit like, fear, like, for me personally, I was always, I had a fear to fail, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like, all, a, it's like all, a limitation, you know what I'm all. saying? I'm the type of nigga, like, I, or high school, I would say some shit like, yo, 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 like, like nigga, I'm never, like, I'm done cheating, you know what I'm saying? Like, not on girls, not on girls. I know y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking like, on, on tests and shit. But fear, yeah, like, if I, if I went to a test, you know what I'm saying, I feel like, oh, I'm about to fail, like, I don't understand, I'm not confident right. about it. Right. Nigga, I'm in that shit like this. Like th- doing the Drake shit, like looking over. Oh. Because I don't want to fail. You know what I'm saying? I had a fear to fail. And it kind of pushed me to a way. But you guys can't let fear overwhelm you at all. Like a lot of situations right now, you see fear in people's eyes. You know what I'm saying? COVID, nigga. COVID. <sighs> Niggas is shaking in their boots, bro. There is no reason you should be in the car by yourself with your mask on, bro. <laughs> there is no re- there is no reason that if I sneeze, I really gotta look on Google for what what sickness I am saying. Niggas like, forgot what, sneezing what was around on, for hundreds of thousands of existence what of human beings. Because because fear has really pushed you to that point. Just because you know COVID is out there, okay. Fear I'm scared media. of that. So now if a nigga sneeze, now it's oh shit. Oh oh my I, I, I must have, I must have, you know what I'm saying? I must have corona. I must have corona. It's fear, bro. Stop letting the fear instill you, bro. Like when it gets instilled in you, bro. That's when it really becomes a problem. It makes everything so much worse. Right. That fear is, is doing nothing for you, bro. It can only bring you down in the situation, bro. So I'm saying, I can't tell y'all not to fear shit because y'all pussy. Like, I mean, niggas is just pussy. Gangster, you know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody's going to have their shit in them, but try to limit the fear. Try to, you know what I'm saying? Try to keep it to a minimum and really look to, you know what I'm saying, overcome shit. I mean, you got fears. Look to overcome your fears, you know what I mean? Like, if you got it, when you overcome it, it becomes so much more, you know what I mean? Right. It's going to mean so much more to you. So another thing I think about fear is like some of my best experiences in life came from fear. And yeah. I'm going to elaborate on a specific part of that later. But like, for example, fear, right? I remember before my first ever podcast episode, it started with an Instagram live. And I went on Instagram live. I was chilling. I'm in the, cr- I'm in the crib. And I'm like, yo, there's a snowstorm outside. I know everybody's outside. I know everybody's doing. I know everybody's gonna be inside today. Yeah. Fuck outside. I know everybody's gonna be inside today. So I'm. I put out this post. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna go live. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put on for my city something that no man ever wants to do. <laughs> and this is in 2000 and what, uh, 19, 18, whatever. So I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna put on for the city. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a fool of myself. Mm-hmm. I, that's what I thought. I'm gonna, I thought I was gonna make a fool of myself, right? That, and I was scared. I'm like, damn, people are gonna think I'm corny. People are gonna cringe because I, I'm, I'm doing something that nobody ever does really out here, anywhere really, but like out here especially. Yeah, right. I did that live. And this shit fucking blew up. It made history Crazy. in Rockland. That's a fact. I'm pretty sure I was one of the first ever to put a hundred people in a live. That's a fact. Definitely vouch for that. I'm pretty sure I made. I, I opened up the gates for somebody in Rockland to put a hundred people in their live. If um, and if I'm wrong, if I'm lying, I'm flying. If I'm lying, I'm flying. But if I'm cancel. wrong, cancel me. Cancel. Unfollow me. Pull a desi. Put on, bro. I mean, <laughs> I mean and so. um, nah, it's definitely, it's definitely a limitation, bro. Just like you said, like you came to that, that, that understanding, bro. When I started these videos, I do. If you, if you just tune in, you don't know who I am. Right. You bugging. But <laughs> I just started. I, I do, I do videos. I do content on Instagram, and I've been doing it for a year. And when I first started the videos, 
I made a whole plan. Like, okay, it's, it was two thousand. We just getting in two thousand twenty. This right. is January two thousand twenty. Right when I went back to school, I said, "Yo, bro, I want to do this. This is this is what I'm gonna chase." You know what I mean? Right. And I made plans to drop the first video on my birthday, January nineteenth. Okay. Remember that? Give me a gift next year. Oh. But so January nineteenth, <laughs> I wanted to plan and make my shit. I'm saying drop it on that. I didn't end up dropping my first video till February, in the middle of February. For me, and that's off the strength of, damn, I never did this shit before. What if they don't like me? What if they don't? Yeah, you know I'm saying. What if they don't ro- rock my content? What they don't understand? At the end of the day, it's for you. You know what I'm saying? This is your visionary. This is your. This is how you see things. You know what I'm saying. I'm not doing it for anybody else. I do it for the last. You know what I'm saying right. to put a smile on anybody else's faces. But at the end of the day, this is who I am. So that's why when I first started doing it, it's like okay, I was too worried about anybody else's opinion. It was a fear to being judged, of being. You know what I'm saying of just worrying about situations like that. But that should have never happened. You know what I'm saying because within doing that, within me having fear, worrying about what other people are gonna say. I never really got to put my stuff out there like that. So the first year, you know what I'm saying? Uh, first couple months, I was dropping a video every two weeks, three weeks. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? If I got lucky, I would drop I mean, two two in every um, you know, week or something like that. Opposed to now where I'm dropping once a day. You know what I'm saying? Once 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 a day. Once I might post twice a day for me if, if I feel good. If you got a good Just day. to put it out there, bro. Because I have I have the understanding of myself that, okay, now I understand my self-worth for real. You know what I mean? Right. My self-worth for real. And I understand what I'm doing it for. So all that fear. It's gone. Gone. And look how far it built me. You know what I'm saying? Look how far it got me so far, and it's not even done yet. So just, yo, let that fear go, man. Don't let a limita- Don't put no limitations on your talent, on your mind, on anything you think about. Let it go and just block. You know what I'm saying? Let it go and just be about you, bro. Right. And now, fear is something that you shouldn't let take over your life. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't let it ruin your life. But at the same time... This is going to only make sense to some, right? Don't really be afraid of fear. Yeah, facts. Right? Embrace it. So, like, if you're scared of something, don't let that, like, tell you, like, all right. Don't let it dig in. Don't let that completely cancel your decision. Definitely. You know what I mean? Because normally the best things in life are behind fear. Facts. Like Will Smith said, it's like, you know, before you go skydiving, it's like the, it, you think you're going to die. Yeah. There's nothing else you could think about. There's no way you think you're going to live jumping out of an airplane with a book bag on. The There's feeling. no way you think you're going to live. the feeling after, the feeling after. Some, the some feeling different. after, fear sometimes might have been the best thing in your life because That's it's right. like, it's like, holy shit, I was scared of this and I never saw myself doing this. Now I can do this shit at ease. Mm. And that opens up a door to the hundreds of thousands of millions of trillions of people who might be afraid of something and they see that you're not. It's like it's like somebody who is a stan follower of somebody who loves tarantulas. Right? Mm. The people who are watching him are, yeah, a few people who are not afraid of tarantulas, but people who would never in their life ever touch a tarantula. Yeah. They look up to this guy. Mm-hmm. Like, oh my God, I cannot believe this guy fucking plays with tarantulas or fucking dinosaurs or whatever the fuck it is. You know what I mean? There's an avenue mm-hmm. for fear. There's an avenue for the guy who posts videos all day of him jumping out of an airplane and parachuting. There's an avenue can't for Can't be that. scared to be the guy out. You gotta, you gotta you stand out. You can't be afraid to be the guy out, that yeah. sticks out like a sore thumb. That's a fact. You know what I mean? You was never made to fit in. Exactly. I feel that. So now... We'll get into that, bringing yeah. that in, we're gonna bring that into our next topic. On the black community side of things, and that's Desi Banks, mm-hmm. right? Even other celebrities, you can even say either other celebrities, celebrities all, as well. This is all pertaining to George Floyd. But Everything but, pertaining but, to George Floyd. But we're gonna start with Desi Banks. Okay. Right. If y'all know who Desi Banks is, he's a comedian. He's a comedian who does a lot of stuff, just like kind of like how I do. And he made some, some, some bold, some bold, uh, bold, some bold statements, a bold, a bold statement. You know what I mean? Ooh. For some people, and you know what I mean when you speak your mind, you gotta understand everybody's not gonna be a fan. Not everybody's not gonna, and gonna and like that you. That brings us back to the first time we talked about yeah. was Twitter fingers. Yeah, I don't care if you're a pastor, bro. Everybody not gonna like you. You feel me? So he made a statement, and he's getting dealt with for the statement. You know what I mean? He he spoke his mind, and now he's paying for it. When I say when when Tippy says paying for it, Desi Banks lost a half a million followers within twenty four hours. 
during a time where Black Lives Matter. And for a picture, for a, a picture, picture he posted picture about he the post, riot yeah. and the protest. About the riot and protest. Yeah. He he. What did he post? He posted something. It basically said the the protest is good. The looting is criminals. So if you loot, if you if you do it, you're a criminal. You know what I mean, he spoke his mind. He spoke his mind, but. Not on duty. Not, Not on, duty. on duty. See Not now, what duty. Desi Banks didn't understand, and what he what he needed to understand, where where his people feel is that like, we protested already. Mm. We 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 rioted before. Mm. We protested already. We we have done everything in the most peaceful way possible. Possible. And for you, a person where yeah, to another the standard. minority looks yeah. up to. He's he's big. He's he's you, big. You represent the bottom of the ghetto. You represent that mud definition of the ghetto. Mm-hmm. That's that those that's your following. Yeah. You basically told them that what they're doing is criminal compared to what they've already done and it didn't work yeah. is not right. Yeah. You you are against your people. And maybe he wasn't aware. Mm-hmm. Of the how people, people that, take that truly it, yeah, followed how people, him, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he wasn't aware of how people are gonna take this, but like half a million followers, and, going yeah. from a million to ha- to literally five hundred k, like this isn't even an estimate. Yeah, this is five hundred. I've never seen that in my life. Six nine couldn't even do that to Rich the Kid. Yeah, you gotta see stuff like that. Like, and I'm not, I don't take no. Everybody has the voice of their opinion. I mean, you know, this is crazy. You gonna say what you wanna say. You just gotta understand. People can always take something a different way. Now, how you think everybody common sense isn't so common, you know what I mean? No, so he could have felt like he could have felt like, okay, what I'm saying, you know what I mean, is good because I want people to stop looting. Nigga, there's niggas looting. There's niggas that was looting. So what do you think they're gonna feel about that? You know what I'm saying? And now he had to deal with stuff like that. Because even the press and the public, they wanted him to put an opinion out. They as a mogul, as as an influencer, people are gonna press you to put like I seen people going on Kylie Jenner and telling them to speak on it. Telling them to speak on it just to get how their opinions is, you know what I mean? And I don't, I don't fault him for saying his opinion. You know what I mean, but yeah, you know I mean, when you when you state your opinion, you gotta understand everybody's not gonna see eye to eye with you, bro. So he's dealing with stuff like that. But this is a very touchy topic as it is. Everybody knows what's going on. Like, who who, who would have thought that a comedian, you know, because like comedians say things. They say pretty bold. Edgy. They definitely. say some edgy definitely, shit. Definitely, 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 definitely. They walk the line. It's a thing. They, they say that, some they shit. They tread that thin bro. line, bro. That, th- that line is thin, bro. They tread they a thin line. They really, really take it to that point. So, like, being a comedian, an up and coming comedian, a comedian that was pure only, nobody ain't never tried Desi. Mm-hmm. No matter what he do, even they if it wasn't him. really that funny this him. time. It's funny. Yeah, it's Desi. I like him. You want him to win. I don't like that many comedians, but I like Desi. I, li- I, like, I like Desi I like, too. I like what he do. I like his ability to real life put me in that his position. Range, like yeah. his range. You know how, how yeah. the fuck is he get a drum line outfit? A how the fuck this nigga get a football equipment? Yeah. equipment? He's like, tough, man. He's tough. you know what I mean? That's what we liked about him. But like, in a time like this, it only goes to show that like, not everything is funny, bro. Not everything is is. Meant to be said, and and what he did humbled me. It really like taught what you me. Said earlier, nigga, what's supposed to be said is supposed to be heard. I'm not. No, 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 no I'm actually. Nah. Uh, nah, nah. Look, I, I try to connect that. I right know there. what you connect. mean, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna be because somebody got on somebody, Twitter no, no. that's gonna try to somebody try Somebody heard you. him though. Somebody heard him though. Somebody like I know somebody looked at his shit like yo, he's dead not lying. Like he's dead telling he the truth. Lying. Right, right, right. He's dead not lying, bro. Right. So somebody out there, but just the majority, you know what I'm saying, wasn't really feeling it. Man, he'll bounce back, bro. You just got to understand times like this, bro, is hard. I hope he bounce back. Because, look, man, as a black community, we got a black and upcoming comedian. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and right now, black lives really matter for real. For real. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, and in and, and reality, all lives should matter. And all lives do matter. But yeah. right now, at this I, I, I very this picture, moment, I seen this picture, all lives matter. Yo, I seen this picture, and it... I mean, black, black Lives Matter. Like, I already bugging. Knew, I already knew I'm Black bugging. Lives Matter. Yeah, I already knew Black Lives Matter, bro. But I seen this picture the other day my man posted. And it was two houses, two houses. One was on fire and one wasn't on fire. And there was a fireman. And the fireman was spraying the water on the house that wasn't on fire. Oh, yeah. And that was equivalent Why? to niggas saying all lives matter. You know what I'm saying? The house that was on fire wasn't getting no water. But the house that was good, chilling, got the water. And what it was saying, I think the equivalency, what I got from that was... 
okay, you saying all lives matter, but you guys are not going through the, you know what I'm saying, the severity of the situation right now. You know what I'm saying? All lives do matter at the end of the day, but nigga, you see what's going on? It is directed at the African-American people, you know what I'm saying, as black individuals themselves, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, everybody's equal to each other. Yes, bro, but you guys are not going through it right now. This is not a crisis about you guys, you know what I'm saying? Between all the names that you heard, bro, this is, this is a direct effect to those type of people, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I say, bro, keep, keep all that other shit to yourself, man. Black lives, man, really staying precious, bro. Really understand what's going on right now before you really speak your mind about other ignorance. And, and, and for the celebrities, right, this is, what I'm, this is what I got to say. Fuck all of you. I'm going to look at the camera and I'm going to tell you all, right, fuck all of you. You y'all y'all really mean to tell us that in a time where we are finally sticking together and and, and throughout everything we've ever done for you used to be insecure ass motherfuckers, right? You you guys were bums, broke, with nothing and and nothing. You guys were us. You guys were us. You're going to sit here and tell me that you're going to sit quiet in a time like this. You're gonna donate nothing. You talking about for the quiet people? For right? the quiet. Say, you, say you, quiet though. Say quiet though. Cause this nigga's like Jalen Brown and LeBron and all. I mean, look. Let's say, let's say. Samantha say. from fucking. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. From fucking suffering could say something and who. Thank you. Not Chrissy, Chrissy Teigen. Um, but, but if, 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 when, when, not even if. When Cardi B. Come on. When Cardi B says something, somebody with influence, somebody who doesn't really have, somebody whose people, her, her, ex, her exact generation, her exact ethnicity isn't really hurt by mm -hmm. what's going on. Mm -hmm. To the, to, like, you know what I mean? It's, it's at the same rate as, as black people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So somebody like Cardi B speaking out, she always speaks out. Mm -hmm. When things are happening, on um, political situations, justice situations, rapper situations, Somebody like her, we appreciate that. We mm -hmm. need that. Yeah. This is what we want. We have done so much for you, and it's she that understands yeah, that. Yeah, comfort, yeah. It comforts us that somebody who used to be us can show us that the they're power. still us. Yeah. Facts, you know? Facts. And, and, and and the bozo guy who we had took his life from zero to 100 from fucking Honda Civic to Ferrari and Lambo truck <laughs> is going to sit back and and and... Rent Airbnbs and fuck prostitutes and and post fake chains and fake jewelry and fake likes and fake views and that fraudulent activity still be the main prior still be your main priority like mm -hmm. how how could you even just 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 a message to and, the and celebrities these, these rappers I mean swear everything is for the fans yeah just for the rappers man just I'm not rappers for the celebrities man just the people are there for you you know what I'm saying the people are there for you so right. kinda just remember always be there you know what I'm saying when they need you most you know what I mean this is a situation where it's not one black man you know what I'm saying one community this is like a like a, a nationwide thing fuck it I seen him going crazy in Japan but like crazy you gotta you gotta be there for when the people need you know what I'm saying so little shit like talking on your on your on your media on your platform bro could do a lot for me you know what I'm saying so don't forget about the people invested in you, you know what I'm saying? You, you need those people to make you who you are. Like, you're nothing without your audience, you know what I'm saying? So if your audience needs you most, be there. And there's dudes, there's dudes that really been out there. Like, I met Chrissy Teigen. I seen some on Twitter where she donated like 100000 200000 to people who protesters were getting arrested, you know what I'm saying, on bails and stuff like that. They're really looking out, you know what I'm saying? Yo, real rap, I could, bro. That could bail a great amount of people out of jail so make sure, for some yeah, rioting. Yeah. That could bail out a few hundred people. So just make sure you're there, man. Make sure you remember the, the bigger picture, bro. Another topic that needs to be heard nationwide. You already know about it, man. If you don't know about it, I don't know where the fuck you been at, but we're going to speak on George Floyd. The very tricky, you know what I'm saying, situation. I'm actually nothing tricky about it. But the very, the very bold, you know what I'm saying, big situation in the world. In the world right now. The biggest situation to ever surface. For us, for my age, bro, At I'm this like, very yeah, moment. Yeah. I'm 21, my nigga. I've never seen something like this. Never. I, mean, I heard like, a lot about Rodney King. I heard a lot about Rodney King, you know what I'm saying? With that situation. That's what the old heads be telling me. But nigga, I didn't I see mean, that. I mean, MLK was assassinated in front of hundreds of people. Yeah. Thousands of people. Peaceful man, you know what I'm saying? I can only imagine that. You know? Yeah, gangsta. You know, like the, the, the Tamika Mallory's and, no, 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 and, I, I, and all that. Imagine she was assassinated mid-speech. Uh, God forbid. You know what I mean? I never lived in a time like that, but I'm living in a time where 
we could see these, yeah, these, these activists hell, Ronnie King. and the activists that are going to be in the textbooks of our kids. Mm, yeah, and, I and, five pictures. I ain't gonna lie. And yo, look, I went out there. <laughs> I went to the city. Quiet. I went to those riots. Yeah, he did. And when I tell you what I saw, when I saw the video of George Floyd, like the day it surfaced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. I seen it. I did seen it the same day, too. I seen it the same day, bro. And I did, you know what? I don't really, like, I don't know if I want to say it, don't get emotional shit like that. But it's never really caught my eye to the point where it's like I'm invested in the video. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I mean, like, if you see something like, so I seen it, and I, I literally watched the whole ten minutes. What's, bro. what's, what's crazy the whole to me ten minutes? Too, I'm like, is that when I see a video on the internet that's nine, ten minutes long, I'm like, fuck that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But I, I got mean, a hundred other shit. things to do, yeah. even if I got nothing. Gangster, to do. Gangster, gangster. I'm watching the shit, and like, I'm like, yo, what? The, wait, hold on. To the point where I'm showing other things, like, yo, bro, you see this? You know what I'm saying? Like, like you gonna call it outrage or anything, bro? But. That whole situation, man. That whole situation, and you you only gotta Nasty get from us. Nasty work. Fuck us. We not not. We yeah. You know I'm saying. Look at all over the world. Look how people are reacting, bro. Look how people are reacting to this situation of a man getting killed, bro. They like on camera, and now billions of people have seen it and are reacting to it. And now it's done more than that. It was a death between two men. Man, I'm saying maybe other, there was other cops there, but. A little situation like that, and now billions of people know. Bigger than you, bigger than I, bigger than him. You know what I'm saying? Something we would have never assumed, bro. But this shit is, this is going down to history. This is going down to history. This is literally history. History, literally. bro. Literally. Like, this is, our, this is our Rodney King era right here. Rodney, this is our Rodney King era. I heard, I this is our MLK yeah, era. This is our Malcolm X era. white people up just for being white during, during the Yo, Rodney King bro, joint. There was a white kid. That I seen, I guess he was chasing kids down with a sword. With, with a sword. sword. Because with you know, a people sword. out there, they're rioting, they're mad, they're angry. And Yo. listen, he was trying to protect the store. It's, yeah. it's not only a dickhead. racism to the point because there are white people, there are all colors yeah. of people out there protesting right now. Yeah, that, that's doing like, what yo, they gotta fucking do. It's not it's not white versus black. Trust me, it's not white versus black. That's, they said they said it's everyone against racist. And, and that's and, the bigger picture at the end of yeah, the day. You got to see, you know what I'm saying? And what 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 the world has brought it down to, right? Like we I have race there there are racist people that aren't cops. Of course. And there are cops that aren't racist. Yeah, definitely. Right? But now a racist can only do so much in today's world. Mm -hmm. You can only do so much, but a cop, somebody who is above the law and and and, and, and a at a standard, time yeah. into a into a time I might going to speak about that now cuz that ain't never going to happen ever again mm -hmm. from this day forward and I'm pretty sure because we rioted before, we protested oh, before, but it ain't nothing like, like this. this. Now, you let the wrong generation nah, yeah, get their hands Milwaukee. on this situation. Not everybody paying for the shit. Our grandmas went through this, and some of our grandmas who went through this are still in our household. Our parents and some of our parents that went through this are still in our household, are still raising us to this day, right? You let the wrong generation get their hands on what's going on right the fuck now. Because, listen, you were at the Rockland riots. Yeah. I was in them city Ain't riots, not. right? The footage that I have, you guys, will, you guys will soon see. The footage that I have in my phone, and when I tell you, if you are somebody who really feels for this shit, riots are not for everybody. Protests Gangsta. are not yep. for everybody. But if you are somebody who really feels for what's going on in today's world, you need to bring your fucking ass to the fucking <laughs> protest. When I tell you it ain't real, I thought it was real seeing these Twitter videos. I thought it was real on CNN. No. No. You don't know what's going on until you really feel this shit, until you see that shit with your own eyes. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've never in my life saw myself going to a protest. Ever. Ever. Ever, ever, me going to a protest and seeing hundreds of people riot. You know, what I mean, at at a, at a point there Furious. was like four, it was like two hundred of us. I almost said four hundred. Right? It was like two hundred of us to like thirty cops. Mm. I seen cops scared. I see what a cop does when he's scared for his he she whatever Nervous. shaking the scared fucking for boots. Life. Yeah. You know what I mean? I seen the look on a cop's face. Who knows that? 
He's against everything that's going on, but he got to do this shit simply because it's for a check. job. Yeah. It's for a check. It's the only way he's going to eat. eat. He yeah. cannot be himself yeah. in order to yeah. feed himself or whatever he has going on. He is not happy. He, she that's, yeah. is not happy with what they do for a living. And when I got the chance to experience that, when I got the chance to see that white people are also protesting white, Real Spanish, shit. purple, yeah. black, Amish, R Amish. Y'all niggas, the Amish niggas out the crib. The Singing. Amish don't come out for They don't nothing. come out for nothing. For nothing. When the last time you seen a gang of Amish niggas really on the block singing? It's so real. I'm pretty sure it's only one family that popped out, and they are now Gangsta. viral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gangsta. Viral. Gangsta. Viral, bro. I really did a lot, bro. I really did. This shit is shaking the fucking room. Like, this is shaking the room, and you really gotta, you gotta be out there. Like, if you want to be heard, bro, you gotta be in the mix. You know what I'm saying? You gotta close mouths can't be fed. You know what I'm saying? If you want to preach for a change, bro, go make the change. And I was having this talk the other day. Like, there's been plenty of murders. You know what I'm saying? There's been many, 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 many. Martin after shit like that happened. Eric Garner, like, there was only so much done, and what happened? We didn't ride like this, and, and we so didn't get into a situation like this. But now you see, now they're going to feel us. Like, they're going to feel the black community. I'm not, not even black. They're going to feel the world, bro. The world. Because there's what, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's out there. You're going to feel the world. The minority. For what you've been doing, you know what I'm saying? For everything that's been engaged and been happening, bro, that we haven't spoke upon, bro. Because you never forget. It gets overlapped, but it never forget. All those situations, all that built up anger, bro, all that is dwelling out right now. That's why you have these crazy situations. Crazy situations for everything that's been going on because of how much people have dealt with and how much people have put up with for many years. What what I what was something I want to elaborate on with the George Floyd, the riots, the protesting is this, right? White people. Stop being so fucking ignorant. Stop. Because if I were to ask you myself, would you be okay with the way black people are treated? Oh, of course. That's like And unless you have the ability to say yeah, if you're dumb enough, I don't do it. Ignorant enough, I don't do it. To say yeah, nah. I don't want to hear your opinion. I don't, like don't want to hear your comment. If it's not something towards the cause, I don't give a fuck how right you think you are. I don't give a fuck what happened sixty fucking years ago. I do, as a matter of fact, <laughs> I do too much. You know what I mean? But if you're gonna mention to me, you know what I mean. Um, why are people rioting? What are people getting out of looting shit? You know what I mean? And you don't understand that your fucking grandma, your grandparents, your parents, Looted, right, pillage, yeah. are the reason why my my parents and my grandparents and my friends' grandparents and my friends' parents are rioting now because when they were peaceful before by not punching you in the fucking face yeah, when they know they could have, by not killing you mm -hmm. when they know they could have, you know what I mean? Cause that 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 when when it was yeah. peaceful then yeah right it, because it, everything there else was, was no change literally it, it, nothing was in their favor there at was that no time. change if they spoke out they didn't eat if they spoke out they were killed they Thanks. were murdered but now in a time of day where we're allowed to speak out and you still think you have the fucking right to to tell me what's wrong and yeah. what's right and to like like I had a conversation with a dude I ain't even gonna put no specifics into it because. I had a conversation with a dude and he told me that he was so ignorant. He told me that Eric Gardner died because of his health condition. Yeah, he said, about. he said, maybe if Eric Gardner was more in shape, he wouldn't have died. And he really believed like, that. Does that matter, bro? A death is he, a death. He, a death he, by somebody else is a death. I was like, I was like, so you mean to tell me that five officers had to kill one man because he apparently resisted arrest. And you're telling me that him putting his hands up in the air rather than behind his back is resisting arrest? That's ignorance. No, that's plenty of plenty of situations like that, bro. That's ignorance. Well, and and then and people then, try to justify shit like justify why these people are dying, you know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy because it gets to a point where you can't even justify it no more. If you're saying can't. shit like, At okay, this, this is the point. Yeah, people were, people were reaching in their pockets and, 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 and cops are trying to defend themselves. Okay, but in this situation, you have a black man pinned down to the ground for ya. You had Jackie Chan, you had the cowboy, and you had the two behind the truck. You know what I'm saying? And y'all trying to deal with the situation. But what is the threat? What is the threat against one man with handcuffs on? 
Nothing, nothing going on. Not a weapon. Not like, not like he, he had some momentum going. He had nothing to him, bro. And you put him in a situation to get dealt with like that. Kill him. Nothing, nothing and look, about it, bro. and look, there are Hercules Hulk ass niggas out there, Definitely. right? So if there is that one nigga who's two fifty solid, and could pose a threat to you, where are my tax dollars going that I'm paying Jesus. to the point so, where five yeah. officers? Jesus. Cannot restrain a young man or a grown man or whatever it is. Now, guys, you see, you see these cops now because you see they got everybody front line, bro. You see some of these cops, bro. These niggas is food, bro. Food. Like, like I know niggas in the hood that will really punch them out, bro. Like I see these cops, I'm like yo, like not. Yeah, you know I'm saying there's cops out there that they look like they've been behind, behind the computer the whole time. Like Their they look like life. they never been in the field a day. They're fat. They're for me. They're out of shape, and it's like, bro, where have y'all been? You know what I'm saying. So I was saying this the other day, like. How are you gonna you you hold cops to another standard? Cops are above the law. You know what I'm saying? Above like, the law. Above the law. They, no, admit they it. put themselves. They put the law out there, bro. Above the law. So they can move around to that. Now I'm saying, when you have people like that, bro, you have to be prepared for situations. Nigga, if you're scared, what is the difference between you being scared and me being scared? Because if you're gonna panic in a situation like that, where you have stuff like guns with you, you know what I'm saying? What is the difference between you having a badge and me having a badge? Because if you panic with a gun, nigga, I could panic with a gun. So why don't I have your job for free? Fuck all the school. Y'all go to school. Y'all do all types of tactics. Y'all have rankings. What is the difference between you putting in a situation like that and me? You know what I'm saying? Because I could panic too with a grip. I could panic. let it go. Let it go. Panic. In situations like that, when y'all look that different, mm. y'all look different, bro. Mm. So you got to see shit like, and then they want to talk about the, 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 the looting. The looting is the biggest thing. The looting is like one of the biggest topics of today's. And what I heard from, from one of the guys on, on social media that really said something, being a cop has, no, no. Rioting, rioting, looting, whatever you want to call it, doing that has no rules to it. No it rules. has no rules, right? Nigga, there is no rule book you look at and you say, oh, oh okay, um, to riot, you got to be here. You got to go after this amount of people and you have these rules. Nigga, there is no rule. And, nigga. and, and if there, there was no a rules. rule, if there was a rule, where was the rule when... The white people were rioting because the Eagles won. Bro, yeah, and yeah, yeah. And they were burning yeah, shit on fire. They're right. Where yeah. was the rioting when, when, when the yeah, hockey yeah, team facts. in Canada Most, lost? Yeah, facts, exactly. Where Bushy. was the rioting when Bushy. it came down to situations like that? Where were the complaints when they were burning buses, Gangster. blowing up Gangster. shit, knocking down poles, shutting down the traffic? Where you was know, the where was the know, complaints you, about now look, that? Now look, with those riots, there's no rule. But you know what does have rules? Being a cop has rules. Yeah. Being a cop has rules. Anybody just can't be a cop. You're if I walk into the cop, I can't just me. be a cop. You have rules and guidelines to abide by, to follow, and to be about. So when you do this, when you take that badge, nigga, the badge you use to protect your life, you know what I'm saying? You have rules to that. Now, when you neglect those rules, that's when you have people reacting like this. You know what I'm saying? That's when you have people who are going to rebuttal in these situations. They don't have no rules, nigga. You did. You had a rule to protect and serve. That is your job. You feel me? And to put a man in a situation like this where you neglect it. So now nobody's on duty. Nobody is on duty. Not you see on niggas went after that. Duty. Niggas went after the target for rest, And now it's everything. Now it's everything. Now we need, you know what I'm saying? They're going after Gucci stores. They're going after anything because there's no rules to it, bro. And that's what happens when you neglect. When you neglect and put in situations like that, bro, this is a rebuttal you're going to get. You got the, yo, you had the right idea with the wrong niggas, bro. The right idea with the wrong niggas. Because niggas is on bad time, bro. You can see what's happening. They're tearing it down. Yo, people say it's bad for the city. It's bad. They're going to be hurt. I say this all the time, bro. Like, after this situation, it's never going to, it's never going to, yeah, fuck, fuck. Yo, Target got, Target going to get it back. It's a Target's multi-billion get dollar get company. Target, these places are going to get it back. But you know what you can't get back? And you can never get back, bro, a life. You would never wish death upon your worst enemy. I don't care because you can't get it back ever. You're never going to see that again. So he will never get to live another day of, of his He'll life. He'll never breathe his family. Earth. We'll never see him again on this ever. Earth. Fuck it. Target come back. All these places come back. They will never get that. So when you understand, when you think about this situation, remember that one person that was lost is never coming back ever. Target better have a lot to do with black lives from this day you know forward. Saying? Come on. From bro. this day forward. Or I'm pretty sure there will be a lot more looting going on. Gangsta. Right? And now... Shit gonna change, another bro. thing I want to get to into change. with the George Floyd situation and the rioting and the looting, it brought a lot to what we said in the beginning of this podcast with Twitter fingers, right? Look, in my opinion, this is to all the brands out there. This is to all the people who normally got something to say, right? Or the people who never have nothing to say. If you disagree or if you have nothing to say, do when I mean keep your fucking mouth shut, <laughs> keep your fucking mouth shut, bro. Thanks, right? 
and to the brands. If you decide to profit off everything else you feel that you could profit profit off of, mm -hmm. right? If you're gonna jack that you're more than a brand, which obviously means you're more than something that's just gonna try to profit off something mm -hmm. and keep it pushing. Make sure you use the voice that you swear you fucking have. I'm trying my hardest not to name drop right now. <laughs> let, him like, let him go. Let him go. I'm, 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 let him rock, man. Keep it general. Keep it general. Keep it rolling. But like, <laughs> do your best to maintain your word. Because let me tell you something. People are watching. Facts. We're watching you. You have an audience. As you have an audience, people are watching you. All kinds of people follow you. When something is going on in your state, you don't got to. Not, nobody is forcing you to talk about what's going on in Minnesota. Nobody is forcing you to talk about what's going on in Atlanta. Nobody is, talk, is forcing you to talk about what's going on in California. But when something is going on in a place of your residence, right, it's time to speak. Silence is... As much as I hate to say it, consider it a crime right now. Right now. Silence is, is considered a crime. Jackie Chan watching nigga die. So I mean, right. that's, that's... Exactly. That shit. A man sat there in silence, let somebody else do what they felt they had to do, and somebody lost their life. Silence right now is not the answer. I don't give a fuck who you are. To... To anybody that I used to be associated with and they have not spoken out ab about what's going on right now or if they in any sort, any way, shape, or form disagree with the way people feel and the way people are acting, I immediately cut you off. Right. Or if, if even if I still answer you or whatever it may be, I never, I do not look at you the same. We are not in the, in the same position that we were before. Definitely. I don't people, give a fuck about knowing you my you see, whole you life. See your you see I see where you stand. Situations see, bring the, the, see, the different sides of people out. Right. I see how you were raised at home. Gangster. You know what I mean? I see, I see what you about. And I see that you don't give a fuck about me. I know I'm not the guy that died. I know I'm not the guy that didn't have his foot on his neck. I know I'm not the guy that wasn't shot in innocence. I know I wasn't the guy that went through police brutality. But like somebody that looked like me did. So now, if that was me, and the world was going crazy because of me, would you only care because it was me, or would so. you? You know what I mean? See like the bigger picture. You gotta really look at the bigger picture. It was somebody that looked like me, bro. That was me. People not gonna feel it until it's them. The, exactly. Gonna Niggas ain't gonna care them. about you till you until die, or until you go to jail, or until it's just entirely too late. Man, Niggas ain't gonna care, that, and they also aren't gonna have anything to say until that very point, right? So it's just. It just opens up a lot. It exposes a lot. And I personally think, I mean, look, the world, the world right now, they mean what they mean. And they ain't going to change and ain't shit going to change. Nobody's going to stop until there's an actual difference made. Like, I see videos of cops now protesting with pro protesters. And I see cops now kneeling. I see um, the New Haven Police Department Whoa. just took Whoa. an entire new oath. But now that one was due to police brutality. We they swore not to have any types of police brutality, which is cool and I love that. But I don't care about anything until there is a law passed. Because at the end of the day, it comes down to the law. Somebody can be a hypocrite on the internet and make a living off of that. Mm -hmm. It's well known. Until I see a law passed, until I see a real difference where there are consequences that are going to be put down on you if you do not abide by what is now the rule, I don't give a fuck, bro. Officer, kneel. But it's still black lives matter. Thanks, sir. Black lives right now. At the end of the day, yeah, whatever, all lives matter. They do, you know what I mean? If, if, if a white man dies... No man is above and, another. And no man is above... What'd you say? No man is above another. Exactly. Right? But like, right now, in this very moment, I have never in my life in, in my 20 something years on this fucking planet, I ain't never in my life saw a white man be shot and killed in innocence by a cop. Ever. Ever. Just remember, just remember what y'all, the day I living in, man, I pray, everybody be safe. You know what I'm saying? This is the way to end this shit. Just everybody be safe. You know what I mean? 
Show, show, comp- like, it's not even just black people, you know what I'm saying? For white people, show compassion, you know what I mean? Show, show, because it's going to show where your heart stands, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, we got one race, nigga, and that's a human race. Keep it simple, you know what I mean? It goes deeper than pigment, you know what I mean? Just show compassion, show love to everybody around, give comfort, you know what I mean? Regardless of where you stand, and just try to help people in the time of need. For celebrities, for everybody, bigger, for, for bigger moguls, you know what I mean? Just remember, like, it's one day at the end of the day we all got heart, you know what I mean? We all got a heart. We all the same people, so we got to be there for each other. So I pray for the for the family of George Floyd, you know what I'm saying? This is a time that's going to be overcome. It's going to be, you know what I'm saying, it's going to be overcome. We always got to get over everything, man. So everybody just stay safe out there. Make sure you 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 staying out of the way, you know, and just pray for better days. Right. And um, raise hell until there is a difference. Be heard, man. That's it. Be heard. Be heard. Make them feel you. If you gonna, if however you gonna go about it, man, they gonna they gonna have to hear you someday. You know what I mean, if if talking is not gonna get to them, that right hook will. So do what you gotta That's do. A big fact. Or that or, or or that or that three hundred and fifty thousand dollar watch Watch that was booked out the that. jewelry store. <laughs> my role is it's, it's a story I'm gonna tell my my kids. Like yo, yo the motherfucking people ain't wanna hear me out. Niggas is lucky. Down. I was the ATL. Oh my god. Holy fucking oh shit, my bro. Goodness. Listen, man, I'm, look, I'm, I'm waiting on niggas. I'm waiting on niggas to text me talking about yo, we going to the Apple store. Ah! Yo, yo, yo. I'm gonna yo. get my eBay popping. Yo, keep it under wraps, man. You know I, what I mean? I, I ain't into, yo, oh, man. All jokes are like, we, we joking. I don't know if King Mill's joking. Ain't joking. joking. Ain't joking. Apple Store, I'm But yeah. yo, whatever, y'all, whatever we y'all do, loot, don't loot, <laughs> man. Just watch, you know what I'm saying? Be safe, bro. Be safe, man. Keep, turn y'all. your location off, put a mask on. Somebody love y'all, bro. Somebody love y'all. We're gonna, we gonna stand up and we're gonna, we gonna earn another day, you know what I mean? Right, and we're gonna, and we're gonna make sure that, 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 we're going to make sure black lives matter, and then we're going to get to all lives matter. Shit, me but we got to make sure black lives matter in order for all lives to matter. But with that being said, that's man, that's episode Simple. two of the Spot Podcast. That this was is good. an emergency money right episode. There. Yeah, we had to get it out for y'all, you know man. I mean? say, dwelling on say, me. say what needs to be heard, man. Speak your hearts, man. Let us know, man. Anything y'all want to talk about, let us know, man. We here for y'all. We got to be the voice of the people. And that's a fact, man. Look, man, we at this spot. It's Thank your boy, King in. Butter 8. Got him with the number one host in the world. And it's your boy, Tippy D, man. Showing love. Love is that. And uh, we got Alex SLDM in the building. Shout out my Sc- guy. Scav Mula. Scav Mula. I mean, we got All Right EO here. In the building. In the, in live in the flesh. We at the Society of the Arts. Get in tune, man. Make get in sure tune. Don't get left. Subscribe. Please no, follow. Don't just watch our videos. Before it's too late. Follow, subscribe, come, come, get to us wherever you can get. Mm-hmm. And um, we game, man. We get the spot. Stay blessed, man. <laughs>